hey everyone welcome back to another video it is your girl moya of course with the baddies and the bag and today 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 i am going to be fixing up let's just say redoing my binders for the new year 2024 <laughs> To do this i've been trying to do this video for a while now and i've just gotten the chance you guys my house is so quiet it's so calming it's so relaxing i feel so good i have to say my boyfriend's not here he decided to go and take the baby with him to work so i'm home alone and this is the best time for me to record my videos complete silence and i could just get into the zone so it feels very very good to be here i am going to be redoing my binders getting ready for 2024 i have to say i've learned so much throughout the whole cash stuffing journey since i've started this march and i am ready to apply everything that i've learned for the new year it's time to get real serious it's time to stick to the financial plans as much as possible. I'm not gonna lie to you, throughout the whole cash stuffing journey this year, I have faltered a few times. But listen, it happens, okay? I'm not blaming myself. You live and you learn, and each time you do this, you get better and better each time. So I am not stressing myself about it. I faltered, and it is what it is. We just got to make sure that we have a great plan in store for the come upcoming year and we are ready to take on all the challenges that we're going to face and we're going to falter less, okay? <laughs> Basically. So let's get into the positive quote. Uh, today's positive quote is... I feel like we've done all these positive quotes already. Oh my God, you make the world a better place. Oh, this is so cute. This is so nice. It's so calming. If you guys can't tell, I am smiling right now. I feel great about that little quote, quote right there. So I hope that it was able to do something for you as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So yes, we are. I am going to be reusing my binders from this year because y'all know I just installed the little cute rose gold um things inside of them so i am going to use them back so we're going to remove all the envelopes and i'm going to save these envelopes in case i want to change up the looks another time we're going to save all the envelopes so i need my dashboard i'm keeping the sinking funds dashboard i did make new dashboards though for the other binders but I am going to be keeping all these envelopes. So there goes one another binder. Let me push it to the side a little bit. This is my high priority. I think I'm going to still keep my dashboards. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna put together the new dashboards that I made and we're gonna see how it looks and then I'm going to pick which ones I wanna use. So these are all the high priority envelopes that I had prior. We're gonna keep these. Oopsie, we're leaving more. So there's three binders. The binders are so cute with the rose gold rings. OMG. So on top of these three binders, high priority sinking funds and bills binder, I purchased two new binders and this time these two binders has gold rings. I've been a little bit obsessed with the gold ring. Oh my god. The thing about the gold ring to me, it just looks so luxury and this binder came with a cute little gold ruler as well. So I purchased two of them. They're both the same color. It's not my baby pink like my baby pink theme but it's pink 
so we are going to be using these two binders and today we're going to have to figure out what binder I want to be what. With that being said, we're going to put the empty binders aside so when we're ready for them, we can just take them up and start to pack them and fix them how we want them to be. Right now, I want to show you guys what I've made, all the new things that I'm looking forward to decorating my binders with. So I've made new dashboards. So this is the new Bills dashboard. It has like the Louis um, logo in the background. This is the savings binder dashboard. This is high priority. They are more on the simpler side, I should say. Low priority, which is something that I'm adding for the new year. And back to bills. So the sinking funds one, I'm definitely going to use that. I'm going to punch holes in these and then I'll see how they look in the binders. And I'll see if I want to keep the high priority one that I previously had, which I don't think I'm gonna throw them away. I'm gonna keep them for when I wanna change up my binders again. So let's punch holes in these dashboards so we can insert them. I'm just fixing the hole puncher and we're going to get into here and punch holes. I haven't done one of these videos in a while and these I must say are my favorite videos to do like designing and redesigning. I love me some designs. So let me punch my holes. Ooh, this is high priority. So they're all kind of the same design as y'all can see. Simple and cute. Okay, so with my holes punched in my dashboards, they are ready to be inserted. I'm gonna put them to the side. And then these are all the new envelopes that I've made. And the difference with these envelopes is I added a little design to them. So these, it says Christmas and birthday, so I know these are the sinking funds envelopes. Each For each binder, I made the designs different. So let me show you guys what the envelopes are looking like. So this one is the sinking funds, and as y'all can see, it says Christmas. I did do two fonts. So I have like a regular font, and then I did my other script, which I think is so cute, oh my God. So I did like a little floral design in the background. I made it a little bit less, like a little transparency, not too strong. So these are my categories. I have Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day, my birthday, my graduation, which got pushed out to next year, car maintenance, vacation, summer, and it's back to Christmas. So these are all my stinking funds categories. And these are the envelopes for sinking funds. I have to punch holes in them. Next up we have, I know this is high priority because it says emergency on the top. So these are my, my high priority envelopes. And this design is just a cute little floral design going through the background as well. Same two fonts and it's emergency, tax prep, citizenship, healthcare, I add that back. Moving out, credit card, as well as back to emergency. So this is my high priority envelopes. And then I did add the new category, low priority, just because I feel like I wanted it to be separated from, you know, sinking funds. I feel like sinking funds, I wanted it to be like things are coming up that I need money for, like holiday time and stuff like that, birthdays, summer, vacation, etc. And then for low priority are other stuff that were in my sinking funds binder. I separated them and I'm calling them low priority sinking funds. So this is my daughter's stuff, her little toys, etc. We have online shopping and the background just have hearts going through it. And it's just one font. This is going out, gadget accessories, because I always I'm always buying accessories for my iPad, my laptop, my phone, household items, self-care, luxury items. Your girl is getting back into her perfumes. And I did add books. 
because I love books. I love to read, if you guys didn't know. And this is mommy stuff. So this is when my mom called me and want me to order stuff for her. And then it's back to my daughter's stuff. So that's the low priority envelopes. And then last but not least, we have bills. And with the bills, it's also a little floral background as well going through it. It's just leaves. I don't know if y'all could see it, but I made it really, really faint because that's how I like it. I don't like nothing too overpowering. So this is rent. We have utilities. We have insurance. We have subscriptions. We have self lender. And bills didn't change that much, you know, it's my regular bills. The only thing we did add groceries to it because food stamps, I don't know, the food be going up now. So food stamps not really cutting it. So I need to add like an extra dollar here and there to fill in. We have phone bill and it's back to rent. Why did I not see car payment? Did I not do car payment? <gasps> oh no, I didn't do car payment. So we have to make another envelope for car payments. Which is fine because I am about to do a video showing you guys how to make the envelopes with the little decor in the background. So at that point, I will use car, um, car payment for that video. So those are all my envelopes that will be going into 2022 with um, 2024 with me. Listen to me talking about 2022. Along with that, I am adding a saving tracker to my saving challenge binder because I feel like this year I didn't do so well on tracking my savings and it led to me dipping into my savings and buying stuff that I didn't need to be honest. So this year I want to track it and I wanna do way better with it. So I'm going to insert a tracker in my binder. So along with that, I do realize that I work better when it's like a challenge. So I made these inserts. They're mostly for my sinking funds binder. So I made these in for inserts to assist me in the saving to make me want to do it more. Okay, so you kind of have to figure out what works for you. And when you find what works for you best, you try to stick with that. So I do realize this type of challenge works best for me. Like when I have a goal and I have each amount and I, you know, I can shade in the little things. They work good for me. So I've decided to make a bunch of these for my sinking funds and low priority binder. So we have Christmas, as y'all can see, it says the goal is 20. The goal is 460 and each is 20. So these, I made them that way if I complete it, I can erase and start over. You get what I mean? That's the way I did it. So Christmas, I have citizenship fund. I think this is gonna help me so much. You can see the goal is 800 and each icon is 50. I have household, each icon is five. Luxury, each is 20. Self-care, birthday, emergency, vacation, book fund, summer fund, graduation fund, and car maintenance fund, Valentine's fund, and back to Christmas. I am excited to insert these into my envelopes and have them help me out throughout my whole journey. I feel like when I'm randomly putting money in, I feel like it's going to work better for me this way when I have like a goal and I'm like shading stuff in. So I decided to do it this method. So we're going to add these as well. So all the envelopes needs to get a hole punched. So let's go ahead and hole punch the envelopes and hole punch our saving tracker as well. 